There are a lot of barriers to accessing good fitness, but we can give people the physical activity guidelines for spinal cord and uh, then try to start talking about how do you think you can incorporate this into your life. I do try to really bring up the risk factors, but at the same time to know that if they do exercise regularly, there are benefits. Some people who have been sedentary for a long time or have uh, limited movement, pain, spasticity, many of the side effects from a spinal cord injury are reluctant to exercise because they just don't know how. And so having some clear direction is really important. Exercising with a spinal cord injury can result in some secondary complications. They're generally rare, but autonomic dysreflexia is one of them. Temperature regulation is uh, another um, thing that happens when you're a higher spinal cord injury. And so making sure that you hydrate well, have loose clothing, make sure that you're in an environment that is not too hot or too cold. Uh, is important. Skin problems are another one that can happen, especially if you're twisting or um, rocking your body on, on uh, your seat cushion or your backrest. That often can be corrected and prevented, uh, but you need to always watch for that. Orthostatic hypotension, sometimes referred to as OH, is basically low blood pressure. It happens frequently in many people with spinal cord injury, and it's important to be aware uh, that their blood pressure can change and to know how to address it. Spasticity is a, another area, and you may need to stretch or make sure you're in the right positions before you start exercising. With overuse injuries, you become rounded, tight, and overdeveloped in the front of the shoulders, which leads you to impingement. So having the thumbs up externally rotates the shoulder girdle and gets you away from impinging that area. So that can be a simple thing to remind people. I think it's really important to taper exercise programs to the specific person so they'll be successful with regular exercise. That's one of the key points if you have the information, you know how your body responds and you come prepared, there shouldn't be major issue or concern.